Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about Ikoria Collector's Edition, the booster boxes. So it's around 200 right now, free shipping on eBay. I'm sure that there will be more discounts as we continue on. At this time, at this same time, Pharaoh's Beyond Death was $350 a collector's case. In front of the Outer End was over $300 at before the pre-release of Pharaohs Beyond Death. So Ikoria obviously has been massively affected by the markets, and I don't think really people will hype it up. Um, it's one of these sets that it is released during possibly the worst time ever. Um, I cannot imagine a worse time releasing your new Magic the Gathering set than right, right during a pandemic where people are not supposed to be next to each other and the core release so i think the mtg arena release will go relatively well now again it's a new experiment um just like the magic fest online it's something that's kind of new but at the same time if they get it correctly or get it close enough i could see them continuing because the overhead is so little MTG Arena has literally almost no overhead other than servers and maintenance and then some debugging. And obviously every set you have to reprogram, you have to code in some the new cards. But yeah, um, I don't expect a physical collector's case to do that well. I think uh, it's not something that you would... It's a luxury item of a luxury item. That's what it is. And because it is that status, right now people are just trying to survive and live day to day. So to, to say that, hey, why don't you buy this $200 box of Magic the Gathering cardboard is really kind of not smart. It's not going to go well. This set will be one of the war sets in, in Magic the Gathering. Could I see it eventually becoming valuable? Uh, no. And the reason I don't see this set eventually, I know that the supply can be very low. Um, I, I agree. I absolutely agree. The supply will be quite low. But the question is, you know, even after recovery, right now everything is a good price. So I don't, when I look at something in terms of like, hey, I'm going to put money in it and hope it goes up, I'd much rather have a dual land or power nine, hard to move, but power nine. Uh, because their prices are going to be abysmal. So yes, um, like Rudy said, those sets like Lorwyn, Evening Tide, Morning Tide, due to the great recession of 2008, they're quite valuable today. However, you could have also, like Rudy, you could have bought uh, cruise lines bonds for 20% and you would have been way better off. 20% plus, you know, he bought 60%. So he, he made his money not buying magic cards at the time. He made his money buying bonds. And that, so that's how the Rudy story goes. So I think it is um, a little deceiving to say, hey, buy these collector's boxes from me. They'll go up in price. Yes, they'll go up in price, but literally should the economy recover, literally anything is better because that will, should go up if you can get bonds at 20% for airlines and cruises that you think that will be bailed out, that's there's no way that a Lorwyn was going up 20% every year. There's no way that Morning Tide, Evening Tide, Shadow Moor. And I remember those sets really well because in uh, 2008, I was at NYU. We had Ravnica, Descension. We had hold of Ravnica and then... We, we started getting to the Saddlemore and Evening Tide. I forget which one went first, but it was really weird because it was two and two, and Ravnica was a free set. 
Um, people are not going to buy this product and this product will go on sale. Now the question is if it's 150, I think that's interesting. Uh, I think that at that point, it's, if Pharos Beyond Death hits 150, I'm interested and I hate that product. But at that price point, I have to like ask myself, okay, well, it seems like really good. And I know that these stores are liquidating. So I'm part of um, a Facebook group of store owners all over America. And the general consensus is uh, very bad. Um, everyone is playing. If you play Magic, you are definitely going to play MTG Arena. And, you know, there's people who want to buy gift cards. There's None of that is going to save Magic the Gathering. Um, there's very little that can save this game. And Ikoria is going to just get demolished. Ikoria, well, there is no chance in blank that Ikoria will survive and be a... Look, things are going to get much worse before they get better. And Ikoria is just very poorly situated, and especially collector's editions. So Magic was supposedly going to make a ton of money and then just uh, milk the whales for every cent they had. But right now, it is the worst time. It is the worst time because people don't have money. People don't even have jobs. If you don't have a job, I mean... 400 people just died from the virus. Um, sale, there's a lot of sales um, from my local game store right now. Let's see. Let's read the sales. Um, tons of great reads, novels, short stories. Best part is they're 15% off. Do they have a magic sale right now? Looking for a creative way. Yeah, I mean, they're going to really hit social media up. So right now, locally, the booster box is on sale for $91, and the deck builder toolkits are $15 for the regular Pharaohs Beyond Death, which is, what is Amazon at? Is that a good deal? Pharaohs Beyond Death. Let's take a look at the booster pack. So Amazon is at 98 right now. And then the collector's edition is 195. So 91 is not bad. Is it 91 and then tax? Yeah, it's 91 with tax, so it's a little bit more. I don't think that. I think Ikoria is going to destroy. It. If any store buys Ikoria, I don't know how they're going to sell it. Because if you do sell it online, you're selling it against your distributor. Your distributor, Sports and More, will sell against you. Rudy will sell against you. And you will never sell lower than they can because they don't have your rent or overhead that you do. They don't have that. So I think, um, I mean, you cannot compete. There's no way you're going to be able to compete with the distributors who are you know, selling online. You just can't. And even if you could, you would probably lose money per like you, you would just be selling at a lower cost. Yeah, so I'm looking at all these game stores in town and they're all kind of suffering on their Facebook groups. The desperation is starting to sink in right now. And I really, Ikoria, I just cannot imagine Ikoria helping anyone. Curbside pickup available. <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, we are moving all sales to curbside pickup and closing the play and retail space to customers entirely. We're working on making our entire inventory available online, which is smart. But again, you already, you're going to compete against behemoths who are already online. All right, so here we have... Um, a discount 25% off everything basically we also have a in-store credit system store credit does not expire 
So a lot of um, people are doing store credit. Singles are not off discount, but everything else is, I guess. In light of recent developments uh, to preserve your health, we're canceling all regular evening tournaments and open play for the next two weeks starting tomorrow, March 17th. In addition, we're going to be open from 11. So it's curbside pickup only. Uh, bar sales will be restricted to non-alcoholic beverages and snacks to go. While these sound like drastic measures, we are taking them with the aim of reducing possible contact with COVID-19 for all of our guests and everyone in their lives. We're hopefully able to reinstate normal hours and tournaments in April. Yeah. Um, I think Ikoria, if you put money behind Ikoria, you're going to have a difficult time selling it online. If you cannot sell it online, if you can't sell it for $80 a box, then don't even try because that's what Rudy is going to sell it for, right? Uh, and I'm sure Amazon will have it. Like Wizard of Coast, their stock, Hasbro stock is not doing well. Wizard of Coast themselves are not doing well. I would not be, I would not be surprised to see that they go ahead and they sell for $80 a box on Amazon just to get more revenue. Ikoria is going to be really bad, guys. It's going to be a reckoning that you've never s seen before. And I cannot imagine any store openly saying, hey, you know what, Ikoria, let me stock a bunch of this to not sell and hope it goes up in price somehow. Bye, guys.